It's Mark Savage here. Welcome to my shed. Yamaha YBR125 time. Things don't always go to plan. We're looking at a stator coil today and something that should be really simple. And this isn't simple. What seems to be the problem? Let's have a look. Here we have the stator coil housing. That goes on here. The other side of this is the starter. And this is the stator coil housing. Stator coil fits in there. Job done. So you go on eBay. You type in 2005 Yamaha YBR125 and you buy the part. Now, you can buy um, new or generic or second hand. New, quite a bit of money. Generic, the wiring is not going to be the same. So you're probably going for second hand as a quality used part. And this is what I did. Da da. Da da. Not only did I get the stator coil, I got the housing as well. I thought, hey, it's all in there. Job done. They do two sorts. An 8 and a 7 core. I didn't have one to go by in the first place, so I just guessed I'd go for an 8. Made sense to me. But as you often know, what makes sense doesn't always come to fruition. So, it didn't fit. Straight on. I'm thinking, well, what am I doing wrong? Don't <laughs> worrying though. The wiring, 2 and a 3 plug. On the bike, there's a 2 plug. But these wires have been cut. One blue, two white. On here, one blue, two white. So I thought it was just a case of marrying them up. But, it still wouldn't go on. So have a little bit of head scratching. Tape measure time. So the inside was about 90. My stator coil was 95. This we have the idea, light bulb moment, I've got the wrong one. Send that back and I'll get a seven pot one. You can see the slight grimacy smile, because it wasn't. Luckily, a local dealer had a seven pot one, bought the seven pot home, went to pop it on. <laughs> no, it still doesn't fit, it's still 95. So start scratching your head. I noticed it on the start of this video. The answer's on the covers. Yamaha, four stroke. So I measured these, 13. Then you're 14. So the cover's smaller, the static coil's smaller, and the bell heading's smaller. I need a Mark 1. The problem is, all of the ones for sale are the larger ones. And I've got no idea how to get a small one. It looks like I'm going to have to start going breakers yards because I'm not paying Yamaha's full price of £100 pounds for one, am I? I was thinking I'll get a bigger one of these to match the outer bit, but of course it's not going to fit in here. It's all going to be different. So now I know the difference is, this one should have four stroke bit on it, Mark 1 engine. On my last video I showed it was minor differences, the engine identical. Well, there you go, they're not. I don't know what else they did, but the engines are not the same. Um, we knew the headlight was smaller, um, the indicators, the fairings and all that lot were different. But also now I know the engine casings are different as well. So it's an update for me as well. There you go, let's try and get hold of now one that says four stroke on it, get the right stator for it. Send this one back. I'm gonna take a picture of the wires though, just in case. On the generic ones, as I said, the wiring colors are all different and that's something that I had with Nishin as well. You have to be careful with buying cheap part ones. Uh, if you've got the original ones there, you're laughing. If you haven't, then you're in a world of pain. Yeah, I said that for a while. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a picture of where these go but it looks like these two white wires that's on there, that's just gonna be a guess to be honest with you. What I was gonna try and do is see how the plug wired up and then see where the two white wires are and then hopefully just pop them in that way. It looks like left and right. But again, we'll have a look. So there you go. Things don't go to plan. If you watch the speed fight video, someone has fitted a non-immobilized and immobilized ones. Now they are different sizes and that's great, you can clearly see that. Someone had put um, an immobilized one in a non-immobilized unit and it was spinning round, the bike would start but not run very well. Normally you go through coil and you, and you look at all the other little parts of it as well, spark plug and HT leads and the CDR unit. It turned out to be simple as that, I'd never had that before. And we've had this before. So you're always gonna get things that don't go to plan um, you're always going to have to pay back money and, and send away things, you know. I'm obviously, I'm going to have to send that away now. I'm getting 20% taken off, so I'm losing seven quid plus postage on an item that realistically should have fitted this. Um, whether I've planned it wrong, 
Whether I've planned it wrong or not, I don't know, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. Anyway, there you go. Um, next one will be on the bigger video of this. I just want to show you how things don't always go to plan. Please like, subscribe, share them. Look around the outside, you'll see more of the YBR. Maybe I might put some Lex Motos or um, Sinus Apache or whatever I've got on there as well. But like I said, I've got over 300 odd videos now. Some of them are really well worth a watch. Cup of tea, which I'm missing actually. Cup of tea, sit down and watch them. Take care of yourselves.